right. All right. Uh, let me show you how we graph monetary policy fighting recessions. Easy monetary policy. First of all, we start off with Holy Grail 12. Holy Grail 12 shows the interest rate and the, mon and the money stock, the monetary stock. We know that the Federal Reserve controls money stock and they make decisions, policy decisions on given the economic environment, do you increase or decrease the money supply to either fight recession or fight inflation. In the case of fighting recession, we increase the money supply. So the Fed uses the three tools, the three policy tools available, open market operations, lowering the reserve requirement, and lowering the discount rate to expand the money supply. Specifically as it comes to open market operations, they buy bonds. They give banks and people more money. That's expanding the money supply. So we show the money supply curve shifting to the right. Okay. When the money supply curve shifts to the right, that necessarily lowers the interest rate, given the demand curve for money. Now we can take this interest, cur interest rate uh, reduction and translate it directly to Holy Grail 6, where we show the change in autonomous investment based on the interest rate going down. As the interest rate goes down, investment increases. People can and businesses decide to expand factories, and uh, buy more machinery because of the lower interest rate. Uh, as investment increases, we go to then from Holy Grail 6 to Holy Grail 7, investment increasing at, drives up, shifts up the aggregate expenditures curve, and we see that there is a multiplier effect on GDP. The amount that the aggregate Two expenditures minutes. increases is uh, multiplied through the multiplier effect through GDP. And then lastly, we go to Holy Grail 8, Holy Grail 8, which shows, given the change in investment and aggregate expenditures, how is that reflected on our aggregate demand, aggregate supply curve? We know that, given the problem that we're in a recession, so we know that our equilibrium demand is to the left, to the horizontal part of the aggregate supply curve and that what ultimately happens is because of the increase in money supply, the lowering of the interest rate, the increase in investment, we shift the aggregate demand curve to the right. Again, the policy of the Federal Reserve is to try to get as close to full employment as possible. They, want, they don't want to push the economy past full employment because they'll be setting off inflation.